Okay, well, Martin is on fire. <laughs> you set a fire. So, how do I get out of here without starting a ruckus? Two naked twins are probably not going to let me go. Hey, guys. Thank you. I, I don't trust you. And I definitely don't trust you. Even though I've seen your penises like this whole entire game, for the most part. I still don't think we can be friends. <laughs> this series has so much censoring. In a way. Alright. Uh, I think the only person who doesn't have the memo is Tiny. <laughs> hey, speaking of... <laughs> it's hilarious. I was just gonna say, I think the only person who doesn't have the memo is Tiny. And what happens? Tiny shows up. Oh, we gotta wait him out. Oh, you know what? This isn't the room. I was thinking there's that room with the broken window. Oh, you suck. Okay, well, I'm just gonna wait again. I was just knock on the door. Oh, I was gonna say, did he go to the wrong door? It's tiny. You should go see your friend. He's kind of on fire and dead. And, um, yeah. Oh, don't tell me. Hey, buddy! Ow. Death, my blame! Okay, well, we're gonna close this door. Ah, uh, crap. Hi! Nope. Ow! I got stuck. No, that's not fair. No! Okay. Run, 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 run. You can keep your ass away from me. I don't like you. No siree. I'm hoping I'm running the right way. Open. Battery. Battery. Yeah, make sure I did close the door. Follows me to the bathroom. Yep. Okay, Tiny. Open the door. What kind of HD camera this guy has that uses only the like, like small, like double A or triple A batteries? Oh no, this guy's gone. Oh, he probably was at the bonfire. Oh, that's an awkward painting. Oh. Can we climb through? Ah, uh, this is nice. I like this. Nothing can totally go wrong here. Yeah, I just heard Tiny underneath me. Oh, if he's in front of me, I'm gonna be pissed off. Because I left his ass behind. Okay, here we go. Going up. Or down. I don't know which way we're going. Uh, I think he said we're supposed to go up, not down. Up to freedom, not down to death. Oh. Oh. I guess if it wasn't made clear, shit gonna get real.
Uh, yeah, sure. Fine. <laughs> I think the other way that I was originally gonna go was perfectly fine. Yeah. That's good. Alright, here we go. Oh. Well. Ooh. I don't like those... Like, dips in, like, frame rate where, like, the thing lags. Oh, hey, look, it's Charmed. Anyone see that show? That was a good show. Oh, no. Let me close this real quick. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Or finds my corpse, trust me. No, no, corpse. Trust no one to tell everyone I am. Oh, tell everyone. I'm not crazy. I know. I know I'm only crazy people say that, but I'm as sane as this world allows. With a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know if it is Murkoff's fault. Bury these bastards with my mutilated dead body. You know why I said no, right? And I just closed the door and backed out. I forget what episode it was in, but remember where that the group of men were in that room and then they got the body got flung by like the invisible whatever it was. Ta-da! We're in the same room. Hmm. Oh uh, yes, I would like to check into my hotel room. Um, the room number is six six six, please. Yes. Oh, don't worry. That that guy back there, he's uh, he's my he's my. My uh, my friend, yeah, we call him Kevin. Uh, he doesn't really have a name. I just, I just like to call him Kevin. Yeah. He likes burritos and mutilated bodies. That's why I brought him on this journey. Okay, so here's another one. One of the personal records of Doctor Wernick, or I don't know how to pronounce his name. Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus, by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818. It, how is that published anonymously? That's got her name right there. Chapter 23, excerpt. Man, I cried. How ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease. You know not what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and disturbed, and retired to meditate in some other mode of action. Okay, well, okay. Yeah. I don't like the signs of... Yeah, okay, well. Like that guy said, if you find my mutilated body, don't trust anyone. Hi, cop. How you doing? You're not looking so well. Is that an arm? That is an arm. Oh, that's cool. That's another arm. And that's a spine. Oh, I like spines. I like spines being inside the body. Hmm. Place kind of looks like, uh... Like it's meant to hold something or someone. Ah. Uh, hey! Yep. Let's try this again. Hey, you up there? How you doing? Uh, there's like a lot of scary things going. I just I'm trying to ignore me. I'm trying to tell you something. All right, fine, whatever. Hmm. Okay, well I guess we're gonna go in here, and uh, now watch, watch out of all of this, like I'm the crazy doctor. I was just making a documentary. Hmm. Pills here. <gasps> I've got a reflection. I'm a vampire. Oh. Well, I think I had guts. A lot of them. Oh, look, there's my footprints. It looks like there's another, uh. General. Project Wall Rider. Post-mortem pre prepared preparatory report. MM1300921. From note, or phone note. All material herein to be transcribed and revised to fit legally be a binding requirements of Murkoff Corp. 
Recordings, see form 1483. Author, Jennifer Rowland, notes, My 14th autopsy of a wall ride of patient, showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including infection and similar to human growth hormone but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient, independent swarm. So tired, doubting my judgment, we'll submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such, no, using such far gone and further provoked patience is more than I feel like I can handle. It may suggest hanging less hope on the far-flung theory, theories of senile Senile Nazi and more towards using a simpler mechanical engine based on the major sperm project protein. Oh, I mean, those guys are there with their wangs hanging out. You can get all the shit you want from them. We definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. Murkov's secretary killed the patient 921 after her. After he, after he overcome enough tranquilizers, overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting <laughs> with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Bones. Patient number 1287B. Oh, look it. It's coffee mug. Say, wait. Is that the face of the? Is that the face of the um? The father, whatever his name was. Maybe they cloned him. Oh, of course, you're saving right here. Okay, Let's see how it is. What does that mean when the game is saving in a corridor? Oh, that means you know. Exactly that. That's what it means. Okay, well, here we go. <gasps> freedom! I'm so close! Wait, is that an army car? Yeah, it's an army car. I can take that to freedom. <laughs> One ticket, please. Uh, uh, you know, we'll pause this episode here. Uh, I'm gonna go left and I'm gonna go right, see what happens. Alright, everybody, thank you all for watching. This has been Zane, there will always be Zane. If like, the like thing it didn't thumbs down this is episode night or 18 19 is coming up soon uh prepare to have your minds butts blown i guess